Welcome to another free tip of the week brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. In today's tip, I'm going to show you how to use images efficiently in your database. If you have a database where you need to display pictures, either in forms or reports, for your users to see or for printouts, then there are several different ways to put the images in your database. For example, let's say you're creating a basic employee database and you want to have a picture of each employee. Here's a simple employee table. I've got an ID, an employee name text field, and an employee picture that's going to be an OLE object. What does that mean? Well, it stands for object linking and embedding. And that basically means I can copy and paste or insert any type of object that I want, including pictures, Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, PDF files, you name it. Just about anything can go into an OLE object. To insert an item, all you have to do is drop the OLE object on a form, right click, come down to insert object, I'll pick create from file, browse to where your objects are, I'll select a bitmap picture like this laptop, and then click OK. Click OK again, and there you'll see the laptop has now been embedded inside of my database. A copy of that picture is stored right in your table. And you can move from record to record and have all that information displayed. This also works well in reports. Now the problem with OLE objects is that they take up a lot of space. If you've got an employee database with, let's say, 5,000 employees, and your pictures are, let's say, a megabyte apiece, well, you've got 5 gigabytes, maybe even more, of space in your database just for pictures. And that's pretty big. And of course, as our access databases get bigger, they get slower and a lot less efficient. So if you have a database like this, where you want to have a picture associated with an employee, or perhaps a picture of a product, or any number of types of pictures, and you only want to display the picture for the record, or maybe on a report, you may find that it's more efficient to store all those pictures on your hard drive or on your network server and just store the file name of the picture in your database. So instead of using an OLE object here, I'll just make that a text field and I'll put the file name of the picture there. Now when you're setting up your table, just put the file name of the employee picture here. Now I've got a network folder set up on my server with some pictures in it. So I'll just copy and paste this here. I'm going to copy and paste my folder location, which is employee pictures. There's the folder location, backslash, and then the name of any one of these files that are in here. Let's go with, um, how about kids.jpg? I'll put that in there, kids.jpg. There we go. All right. If it's on your local hard drive, that might be c colon backslash images backslash joe.jpg, for example. All right, I can copy and paste that in there. And I've got rick.jpg. And I've got another one, I guess, softball.jpg. And you can use GIFs and bitmaps and any kind of picture that you want. Now, when you create a form based on this table, create a form. Here's my employee T form. You can see the employee picture comes in there. Let's go to design view. Right click, design view. Make some room down here in the detail section. And we'll drop an image down here. The image control is right up here in the ribbon. It's this guy. It says image. Click on that. Come right down here. Draw out a box for the image control. Now, Windows is going to open up your pictures folder and ask you to specify a picture. But we're not going to. I'm just going to hit cancel. That will leave you with an empty image box here. Access 2003 and earlier users, you'll have to pick an image, but then you can erase it later. Open up the properties for this image control. Here's the properties. Let's give it a name. Instead of image 6, I'll call this employee image. Give it a good name. Now, if we take a look at our form in form view, you'll see that there's no picture down here. Even as I move from record to record, the picture doesn't appear. That's because the image control is blank. So we have to use a little bit of code 
to tell the image control to set itself equal to this file. How do we do that? Well, let's go back to design view. Now open up the form properties, which we can get by double clicking right here where the rulers meet. That brings up the form properties. Go to the event tab, and you're looking for the on current event. The on current event runs when you move from one record to another or when the form is first opened. Hit the dot 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 builder button there and pick code builder. The visual basic editor window opens up. And all we have to say in here now is employee image dot picture equals employee picture. And that's it. Employee image is our image control. We're going to set the picture property. And we're going to set it equal to our employee picture field, which is a text field that has the file name in it. All right. Save it. Save this as employee F. It's my employee form. All right. And let's see if it works. Let's go back to form view. Oh, there it is. And I'll move to the next record. Right down here. Click. There's me. Click. There's a softball. And you can see how with one line of Visual Basic Code, we can store all of our images in a folder, either on our computer or on a network server, and have them loaded in at runtime instead of saving all that extra stuff in our database. Now, that's just the tip of the iceberg. I have a whole seminar. It's three hours long to teach you everything you've ever wanted to know about using images and graphics and attachments and all kinds of great things like that in your Access databases. If you're going to be storing images or pictures, employee pictures, product pictures, any of that stuff in your databases, you should watch this seminar. We'll build a complete database system. I'll teach you about OLE objects. Not only will I show you how to right-click and insert an object, but we'll use some VB code so the user can just click one button and pick an object, like the kids.jpg of this computer here, hit open, and it goes right in automatically. We'll link that straight to a report. All right. Here's another option over here for storing a resume, like a Word document, in the employee file. We'll do a lot more with the image controls, just like I showed you. I'll show you how to set up a shared imaging folder. And better yet, I'll show you how when the user selects an image, if that image doesn't exist on your server in the shared folder, it will copy it up there automatically. So your users can pick files that exist on their own local computers and automatically have them copied up to your server directory. You'll learn how to use the web by displaying images that appear on a website in your databases. And that's real handy if you've got, let's say, a product database up on the web already, and you want to be able to use the images out of that product database in your local access database, either in your reports or your forms. You'll learn all about the new attachment type that came out with Access 2007. We'll use some VB code so we can browse the different attachments that are in one record and even open them up by double-clicking on them in here. You'll learn about unbound OLE objects. We'll take, for example, an Excel spreadsheet and put that right inside of an access form so your users can access the functionality of Excel right inside of your database. And there's so much more to learn about images in databases. I've got a three-hour seminar that teaches you pretty much everything you've ever wanted to know. Just go to my website, accesslearningzone.com, and look for the Access Imaging Seminar.